All right, so in this video, I'm gonna quickly show how to set up effect sense in the Mixer and FL Studio. So we're gonna start with a completely blank uh, template. To do that, you can come here and new from template, minimal, empty. And it's gonna look like this. And um, we're gonna open up the mixer also. Uh, so the mixer, put it back down there. So we get some space here. Always, always, always make sure you give these, um, whatever you import, you open a VST, you drag in a, a sample, always give it a, a track in the mixer. And the first one, we're gonna, we're gonna name it um, because we always wanna keep things organized. Give it a color as well so we can easily find it. And on three, we have the sample loop. So I'm just gonna name that loop, give it uh, another color. And now we're going to get to the actual effect sense. So let's say that we want to put some effects on this loop, but we don't want to put it on this track. What we can do is we can take any track here that we're not using. Make sure you, you're not taking a track that you always assign a sound to, though. But um, in this case, I have nothing, so we can grab whatever. And we can right-click that, and we can go to Dock 2. I'm going to do it to the left because I have my master fader and the inserts set to this side. Most of you guys are probably gonna have it on this side of the mixer, but I prefer to have it on this side. So we're gonna dock it to the left, and if you have it on the right, obviously you dock it to the right. So I click left, and it's gonna show up here inside this little uh, frame or whatever. You can open and close that by clicking on it. So I'm gonna name this one, um, gonna name it delay send let's give it a color as well and then I'm gonna do the same process again because I want I want reverb as well so I'm gonna dock it to the left and I'm gonna name this um, uh, reverb send all right cool so now all we got to do is highlight the sound that you want to send to a delay, uh, for instance, and you just click this little thing here, and then you can adjust how much you want on this thing here. So let's highlight the loop again because we want to send it to the delay as well. So now you can see these little cables are connected. And this is individual for each, tra each track you assign it to because let's, let's set these exactly like this and then we come to the drum track you see it's not even assigned yet so we can assign the drums to the reverb and we can just give the drums a little bit of reverb so you see that's that's just a little bit and if we click on the loop you have has completely different settings uh, and of course to get an effect you also gotta load up the effect so we're gonna load up a reverb here real quick go to reverb 2 and it's very important that you set dry to 0 and wet to 100 uh, let's just do this to get to really hear what we're doing. So completely dry. Solo that. That's completely dry. Now with a little bit of reverb. And the same thing for the delay, we got a load of delay. Go to delay three. Let's quickly load up um, a preset. Let's take the ping pong delay. And again, dry got to be set to zero and wet to 100. So now on the loop, we can also hear that we can have delay. probably kind of hard to hear so let's do that on the drums too let's assign the drums by clicking here so now now we can clearly hear that there's a lot of delay so let's use the drums instead let's we hear that there's we hear that we got the the reverb on the drums and the delay also 